here in game one of St. Clair College Academy against University of Cincinnati. Well, let's get underway. Starting lineups are Brisk, Quint, and Yukira. And for the side of University of Cincinnati is David, J14P, and Daniel Gaming 3. Let's get right underway. Let's get right underway. Indeed, the action is already boiling over. We're center field. Brisk, long shot down, trying to get it in net, but it's going to get blocked out by J14P. Brisk chasing it down, but Quint leading it up. Another center shot, and it's going to fly right in. Almost like nobody was there to stop it. That's going to be the first goal on the point for the Saints. Great start for the Saints as Quint flying through the air, taking it over J14P there on the line. And it's going to give the Saints a very swift 1-0 lead to start off this game. And that's the kind of energy you're expecting from our Saints here. Let's see how the second kickoff goes. It's going to be Quint winning it. But J14P is going to find the clear. Yukira is going to go for an attack of their own. And let's see how they're going to play it. Nice little teamwork there with Quint, but they're not going to get the, sh the goal there as the save comes through from Daniel Gaming. J14P is going to find a demo. Let's see if Quint can get it done here pass to himself just missed it the follow-up is there as well but just off target it's going to be saints resetting the play a little bit the clearance should come out from the University of cincinnati but quint is in the right spot at the right time we'll try and pass it over to yukira who's going to find another pass over to brisk and it's a wide open net saints playing that one perfectly and breaking down university of cincinnati as they take a swift 2-0 lead in game one beautiful it's almost like the saints uh they they grew impatient during that delay and now they're just hitting with uh, the fury of a thousand suns you know they're excited to get this series underway and i can feel their energy pouring into their gameplay it's a wonderful sight to behold and as you can see quint already getting the first save of this i don't even know what to call it this round set you know it's just up. after the kickoff they're playing another fresh slate but it's already going to end with another goal for the saints i believe everybody's gotten their own goal at this point everybody's got at least one i got mine you know <laughs> that's what they're all saying right now yukira getting the third for the saints they're heading into the next kickoff only three minutes in they're they're already over a goal a minute here yeah saints are putting on the pressure in university of cincinnati just can't seem to get anything done but off the kickoff they're going to get a nice opportunity here Quinn gonna find a bit of a weird touch there and it's gonna be David uh, with the assist. Daniel, Daniel Gaming. Gaming gonna follow that one up. A bit of a miscue from the Saints, you know. An unlucky touch there from Quint as a very, very simple goal for University of Cincinnati. As they get one back, we've seen Saints been so dominant so far in this game, but they're only up two goals after that one. Still have to stay locked in. Let's see how this next kickoff goes. It's going to be Brisk having to defend it, but a bit of a rough touch there. It's going to be another goal almost there for University of Cincinnati, but the save comes out there from Quint the right place at the right time yet again. Bit of a sloppy kickoff here from Saints two times in a row, but after all, they're going to be able to maintain the possession. The team play is going to come out. Quinn's going to go for a shot, but it's going to be just off target. The save is going to come out. Brisk going to have to find a shot of his own. Will put down into the corner. Let's see if they can get some passing play going here. It's going to be Yukira going for a shot of his own. Should be saved out, but a beautiful touch off the post. The follow-up won't be there. And Saints are still putting on the pressure despite being up to goals. Yeah, they don't want to let off the gas for even a second here because like we said during our brief intro, you know, it just takes a second to have all the momentum sapped away from you. Just like Quint slowing the ball down just in front of the net to try to tilt it back in. But no follow-up, but Yukira looking to rectify the mistake there. Going to have to bring it back from their corner. Quint's going to be there for the assist on that one. Bring it over to Orange side. Daniel Gaming flipping it around, but it's going to get saved by J14P as they try to shoot another one and Yakira also again but Dave is going to stop this one here Brisk intercepting the pass Quint potentially doing the same as it goes towards Daniel Gaming David chasing it down trying to get the center but Yukira is going to prevent it from reaching there in the sky trying to center it down but it's going to intercept it by Daniel Gaming Quint there to receive actually no Brisk going to take the spotlight on that one now J14P looking for pass. one cheeky shot but it's not going to go his way here Quint's going to save David must be kicking himself after that one. Yeah, that was an opportunity for University of Cincinnati. Not too many chances for them here. Saints have been on the aggression, but as I say that, JPTP almost gets a bounce in there. A minute 20 seconds left. Saints still looking very, very strong in this game one with a lot of pressure. But as I say that, 
David almost flying in there to find the second goal for University of Cincinnati. J15P is just gonna misplay down a little bit, and all three Saints in that corner. Gonna look to find a clearance. Quint will get demoed, but Yukira gonna find a beautiful touch there to give Saints a lot of room to work with. One minute remaining. Quint's gonna win now 50, and that's a beautiful shot on target, but David is there for the save. Yukira gonna go for a shot of his own, and a nice save there from Daniel as well. As it's Saints still burning a lot of time off the clock. Now 50 seconds to go, and if this keeps up, it's definitely gonna be their game one. As University of Cincinnati desperately need to get on the attack, but the Saints are just not giving up any space. Daniel's gonna look for something down the line here, but Quint's gonna find a touch there and defend that one all on his own. So J14P is gonna look for an attack, but Quint yet again gonna find a crucial touch with 30 seconds left. This might be all sure for the first game. Like you said, momentum is not stopping. The Saints are keeping the pressure on and on top of the momentum and the pressure being put on by the Saints. Their defense is looking super tight so far. Brisk intercepting another pass towards David, going around that corner. He wants to get into the air with the help of Yakira potentially, but ooh, Yakira gonna get the demo with a 50 turned into a slaughter. Quint now getting it closer to the center in the air. In fact, they're just playing keep away at this point. Brisk, another demo. It's damn near impossible for University of Cincinnati to play right now, and as the ball touches the floor as we hit one, that's gonna be first game for the Saints, three to one, and series is looking very good so far for the Saints. Yeah, they found those first three goals in just the first two minutes of the game, and then mm -hmm. One little mistake there, but other than that, very, very smooth sailing from the Saints. I mean, their opponents were able to get a bit of defense going later towards that first game, but for the first three minutes, Saints looked so, so dominant, and I think they're going to look to replicate that in the second game. Absolutely. I feel like the way that they were really coordinating with each other was just so well-timed. Every play that they made didn't feel accidental. It felt very intentional the way they were playing, so as long as they keep their coordination up and as well as they keep their strategy solid, there, there hasn't been a single single time I can oh. notice where they left the net open. Even there, you know, we kind of thought for a second they might have, but Brisk was already there, ready to get the save. And even though they're leading at least one far back, their, their aggression is not suffering for it. They're able to play as if they have four people in the court, if anything. So, doing a very good job maintaining the pressure. And University of Cincinnati, I feel like they've definitely come to adapt to this play style. You know, like I said, Saints got the first three in two minutes. They didn't get a single one after that. University of Cincinnati actually able to get their own after Saints didn't get one a single time after. So maybe University of Cincinnati have to figure out first. You're seeing a demo now. Risk is going to be playing 2v3 with that in mind. Points going to stay far back. Here is already back now. We're going to see if they can get a cheeky play from the center field. But it's going to continually get pushed out. And that's going to be the struggle that both teams are looking for here. They're both trying to center it. But both teams are doing such a good job of intercepting and stopping these uh, goal setups. So first team to really drop the ball. And that's most likely going to suffer because both teams are really putting a lot of pressure on them. Without a doubt, both teams looking so evenly matched this year in the second game. You could definitely see University of Cincinnati uh, picking up some tactics that are helping them. And the second game is a dangerous opportunity for them. The shot on target will come through, but a beautiful save from Brisk there to keep Saints leveled. Let's see how Saints decide to attack on the counterattack. attack You're going to find a touch over one, but it's going to be hit back. And Daniel's going to go for the shot, but it's a great save again from Quint. Well played by him. Brisk going to find a crucial touch there. Zikira should be able to clear that one out. We'll take it over one defender, but it's going to be a nice challenge there from Daniel as they have a dangerous opportunity here University of Cincinnati. The ball's right in front of the net, but Yukira with a beautiful save and will find the demo as well, which will start the counterattack now for the Saints. Will look to go find the flip over one. Going to pass it back to Brisk, but David just going to intercept one from his car. Brisk going to have a nice little touch here, but it's a very, very even game here. Two minutes in, not too many opportunities. Let's see if Yukira can find that shot on target. Brisk with a huge, huge demolition, but no shot will come out there, Quint going for something in the middle as Kira's gonna find that pass over ah. to him, but just misses it as it's gonna be very, very close. Neither team can really find a big opportunity. It's kind of been a bit of ping pong here and there, but let's see if Saints can put together a nice attack. Come There's long. nobody in the net. Quint there gonna it find is. an easy goal off the assist from Yukira, and there was the one mistake that the Saints were looking for. University of Cincinnati way too over aggressive, having nobody back, and Quint will take that freebie any day of the week. What did I tell you, Theo? The first team to drop the ball in their defense is going to stop the floor and we're seeing their university of Cincinnati University of Cincinnati leaving their net open for one second there and that's going to be enough time for the Saints to get a cross field goal I mean you know Quint did have to nudge it back in afterwards but it was cross field in essence still Quint already getting a save to start things off here they're going to be chasing each other around now University of Cincinnati playing maybe a little too conservatively now they have two retreating back to their side but they also got those two going back up as they're sending it towards the Saints side Two of them are also going to continue to 
to try to alleviate the pressure that the Saints are putting on here. Risk going to try to get the cheap center shot, but it's not going to go his way. You Kira almost there, but not quite. Quinn's going to intercept that ball as it flies over to Blue. But now the pressure is on for the Saints as David looks for the goal. Just tries to tap it back up, keep the Saints guessing, but two opportunities gone for University of Cincinnati. Saints were able to make sure that they could not get either of those shots in, though a lesser team probably would have suffered the fate of losing a goal there. So Saints now just trying to make sure they can maintain their lead in anything, but they want to see if they can try to get another goal to just make it that much more difficult for University of Cincinnati and almost their Yukira try to send it flying. David going to return the favor almost, but maybe a fake out there as J14P tries to follow up, but there is no follow up there. Yukira again centering it oh, for the Saints goal. and it's going to go in in fact. So now with 117 remaining, the Saints are 2-0 against the University of Cincinnati. It's going to take a little bit more than your normal effort to come back from this one. Without a doubt, a beautiful solo goal there from Yukira winning the one-on-one. -on -one. and It's going to give the Saints a 2-0 lead, as you said, very hard to come back now University of Cincinnati because Saints have been so good on the defense in both of these games other than one silly mistake just locking this net down without any problem. University of Cincinnati are putting on the pressure. They do have majority of the possession and they're going to find a demo there and see what they can do on the attack. It's going to be actually Saints going the other way. Quinn's going to find the pass over to Yukira but the clearance isn't going to be there for University of Cincinnati but a missed touch there leads to a demo for J14 PS Brisk is going to find the clearance and Saints are just buying time now that's basically all they need to do to close this one out 45 seconds left and you play some clean rocket league but speaking of clean rocket league beautiful solo goal there from daniel gaming three to one as his teammate was there for the bump here you can see david getting that bump oh no actually I think Saints just had a bit of a miscommunication there. Actually, it was beautiful offense from University of Cincinnati, but they are still down the goal. Saints just need to hold on for 43 more seconds, and let's see how they decide to do so. Kickoff goes in their way, and Brisk is going to find a touch up the field. That's going to buy the Saints a lot of space to work with. Yukira won't win that 50, but Quint is there for the follow-up. Going to look for the pass now over to the player. Beautiful touch into the middle, but nobody's there to follow up. Saints only need to defend here for 25 more seconds to take this one home, and they've burned so much time off the clock with these few attacks. Quinn's going to find one as well over the defender and with 17 seconds left Cincinnati need a goal desperately but yet another clearance comes out from the Saints and it looks like one final attack brewing for University of Cincinnati. They're going to look to take it from the defender but a beautiful 50 there from Brisk Ooh. and Quint with a huge demo. Now it's going to be a 3v2 for a couple seconds. You have two seconds left. Next time the ball drops that will be the game and Saints will take game two with 2-1 two but that one was a much more contested game. And that was a valiant effort from University of Cincinnati there. There, almost bringing it back and like I mentioned before you know the Saints they were playing keep away for a bit but they were still looking for goal opportunities you can see how it matters so much there because if they didn't find that second goal we'd be at an overtime right now University of Cincinnati is showing that they can find goals when they really need to and I you know like I said if any of these teams drop their defense for a second it's capitalized on instantly so it's a little bit of a bloodbath here both teams are very fierce and powerful in their offensive pressure hopefully the staying the saying is true oh, good start. defense is a good offense and I might be correct on that because Brisk within the first six seconds of game three already finding a goal and it's looking good for the Saints looking very very good for the Saints as they get off to yet another hot start now they just want to pile on these goals University of Cincinnati though have shown they've gone a bit better throughout this series have figured out the Saints just a little bit more as they're going to get an attack going up their own Saints on the defense have been so so good and yet again going to clear out that dangerous opportunity there Brisk going to find that touch towards the middle and the Saints have a bit of time to work with here but Yukira going to miss that one's Quinton the one-on-one -on -one. it goes off the crossbar the follow-up is. is there for David and in the matter of seconds, University of Cincinnati to evaporate that lead as it's a 1-1 game with plenty of rock league to go. I think this is going to be the game of surprises as for the first time this series, we're seeing two things that are unexpected. The first is a very quick goal from the Saints, and the second is a very quick follow-up from University of Cincinnati. Uh, you know, historically here in this series, which hasn't been a very long history, granted, is uh, University of Cincinnati takes quite a while to get the one-up on the Saints. So now that we're tied this early on, 
on. I'm curious to see how both of these teams might have changed their game plan to adapt to each other's play style here. And I can already kind of tell a little bit, the Saints feel like they're under a lot more suffocating pressure than usual. They're stuck in that corner, all three of them, for the first time I've seen this series, that they are able to escape Quint chasing the ball up, but nothing's able to get found out there. And immediately after, you know, Yukira going for a demo there, but if that wasn't successful, it would have been hard chasing the ball towards his own net now. Uh, Quint chasing it up in the corner, trying to match J14P, going to catch it down, not going to allow them to get a center, and oh, getting bumped out of the way. Massive bump. Probably should have been a demo by whole things considered, but Brisk chasing it up after Yukira gets demoed. Respawning now. Quint now just knocking it around, trying to get back to the center uh -oh. field, getting it out oh, of their same. zone. And uh, it's so important, as you can see, as long as the ball is in their zone, they're vulnerable to such scary uh, goal shots like that one. Oh, nice. Quint now taking it out. Yukira on the back line to follow up. Able to catch it as it flies up, but nobody in the center. Can a Saint reach it? No shot is actually going to get committed. Uh, wow, J14P able to stop the offense from Brisk. Quint uh, tapping up, setting it, making sure someone can get the follow up. Taking it out in the corner. It's going to get set to Brisk, or Yukira is going to intercept the interception. <laughs> and now Brisk all alone facing that shot. Going to be able to get the save. Yukira and Brisk now on the defense. A very, very good third game for us. J14, he's gonna go for that shot, but it's gonna be cleared out by the Saints. You could definitely tell University of Cincinnati have picked up their game. It's the first one. They're putting on a great matchup for the Saints here, and they've been the aggressors, it feels like, for this entire third game. Let's see what David can get done on the attack. Beautiful save there from Brisk off the post. Doesn't allow a follow up shot either, and it's gonna be a clearance for them against Saints. Still holding on, but it is a 1 1 game. They need to score one more to put this game to bed. It's gonna be a shot on target from Yukira, but it's going to be saved out. Brisk now going to try and kick it up there, but it's going to be saved out. And the Saints haven't really got too much offense going this game other than that really, really early goal. Yukira's going to look for a shot, though. A full court one. It's going to bounce off the post, but the follow-up is almost there. It's a beautiful save there from the side of University of Cincinnati. As Brisk is going to go for an attack of his own, but won't get too much there with zero boost. Daniel Gaming going to go up all the way. Brisk going to find it again with nice little defense there from J14. P. Quint is going to look for an attack on his own. He's going to get the boost as well. Nice little cross there. Brisk going to be there on a follow-up, but just misses it. That's one you're definitely going to want back if you're a fan of the Saints. Should have been a for sure second goal. Now it's going to be University of Cincinnati on the counter-attack. Have to be careful of Saints, but they're able to get the clearance going. Still a tie game. It's uh -oh. another shot on near the target. Daniel, though, able to find a beautiful defense there to make sure nothing goes in. It's going to be another shot on target. There's a couple He's members just in, there. in the net. I think it's Yukira, I believe, there is. And the attack comes out from Del Gaming. Uh -oh. A couple demos now in Saints. That's a, that's Need to a give problem. back on defense, but Quint is here. Let's see how they decide to play the offense. GMP14P is going to be there. It's 2v2, it seems like, with a couple sitting in the net there. Let's see how Saints decide to play it. Bit of a different game now. Brisk is going to miss the one. The shot on target's coming through, but Quint will be there to find the save. Let's see if anyone's going to be able to pick that one up. A shot on target, but Brisk is there for the save. There's one win remaining. Saints are going to look to close this one out. Quint on the attack as Brisk won't be there for the follow up. Yuki and David having an intense battle in the net here, but it's going to be Brisk flying through the air. Beautiful pass to himself, and he's going to give Saints the 2 1 lead as they're 47 seconds away from taking a 3 0 victory in the series. Yeah, Yuki. Kira and uh, David sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. It's not going to go the way of the University of Cincinnati, but Saints are able to capitalize off of that and get a second goal. And uh, looking very good for the Saints already. 45 seconds left on the clock. Brisk getting demoed immediately. Looks like University of Cincinnati wants to go on the hyper offense here. And realistically, they have no reason not to. With 30 seconds just left on the clock in this series, you have to get a goal or you're left behind. There's no more room to pump the brakes. You have to go full force ahead. And it looks oh, another me, one. Looks like the Saints took my advice instead as 3-1 to one for the Saints now. 25 seconds left. Can University of Cincinnati pull it off? I mean, I don't think so. Saints now have the two-goal lead with 25 seconds left. You would think more than certainly they'll be able to hold on to this one. Let's see what happens. Kickoff is going to go the Saints way. Daniel is going to have a nice little touch here though. And on the attack here, going to look for a pass to his teammate. Oh my oh. goodness, Brisk with a beautiful save off the post.
post there, and that's going to probably secure the series for them as with 10 seconds left, the clock's going to yeah. wind down. That save right there by Brisk was amazing. And five seconds left, next time the ball drops, that will be the game. One set is left to go. Let's see how long it's going to be until they drop it. You know, playing for fun now. Brisk is not going to let that one drop, but oh, they're going to keep it up for a few more seconds. You know. another. It's going to be up there for a while. Let's see, maybe one more team can get an extra goal. Brisk is going to let that one finally drop as St. Clair College Academy take the 3 0 victory over yeah. University of Cincinnati in very dominant fashion. Yeah, I really feel like that wrapping up at the end there. Uh, you know, after that failed shot attempt, I think I would have just turned off my computer at that point. I would have been so uh, frustrated, but that really goes to show, you know, how good both of these teams are. You really can't take anything for granted. Even shots that look almost guaranteed can really be stomped out. And University of Cincinnati putting on a great fight against the Saints. Again, I always say, you know, the scoreline doesn't reflect the whole story. These were pretty close games through and through, but ultimately the Saints are going to take the series 3-0. Yeah, and the Saints defensively were just on another level today they yeah, uh, with three goals agree. the entire series three four goals I mean they just played great great defense and really anytime University of Cincinnati had an attack they were able to shut it down with some really <laughs> crucial saves yeah you know ending up there three to one in that final game I think it kind of tells the story that's how we started off yeah, we've come full <laughs> circle and I think that's a great way to end off the night but you know tomorrow we have I believe we have Overwatch yeah. uh, League of Legends and Call of Duty so uh, you know, that's going to be the NACE Star League League of Legends season final, I believe. So if you're a League of Legends fan, uh, you don't want to miss no, that out. No, not tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's going to be a pack day. But as you said, it's going to be Overwatch at 7, League of Legends like 7.30. So mm. it's going to be a packed game day, a lot of games tomorrow. But let's close it out. Let's say thank you to all of our sponsors. We have Subway, Tim Hortons, HyperX, St. Clair, Alumni, and the SRC you got it. St. Clair College uh, SRC, SRC and St. Clair College Alumni <laughs> Association. Yeah. yeah. I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you to everyone in the back today for making this stream possible. Today we have Dan, Dan and Aiden. And Aiden in the back. Oh. So thank you very much. Follow us on all of our social medias to not miss anything Saints related. We post there daily. We have all of our schedules, all our records, and even behind the scenes stuff. So make sure you check us out on there. I've been your host, Theo, known as the Holy Juan, joined by Dan Daniel today. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care.